In today's video, Troy and I are doing something so exciting. Something we've never done before. But something we will do again. So what was it? Hi, for anyone new to the channel, I'm Linda. And I'm Troy. That's Desi. And we are here at the Grand Canyon National Park and we're trying something new today. Yeah, this morning we are renting e-bikes and we are at Bright Angel Bicycles at the Visitor Center at Mather Point. Now, I'm renting an e-bike, but Troy's going to have to do something different. Yeah, I'm just going to have to rent a typical bike, which is fine with me. And they reserve one of the um, child carts, you know, you typically see pulled behind a bike, for dogs. And we've reserved it. And little Bud's, as usual, going to get the best ride in town. <laughs> He's going to get pulled along. So, we'll see how this goes today. What's so nice is that's the Grand Canyon and this is the path. So it's a beautiful wide paved pathway. So we're gonna continue on. while it looks like a nice warm day on video, those little drops you see on the screen right now, that was sleet. But that rainy weather did produce a beautiful rainbow over the canyon. Desi, how was your first bike ride? Your hair is a little wind blown. Yeah, you, you you weren't a fan, or you were not. Okay. Troy is really poking behind. The train leaves Williams, Arizona in the morning, goes to the South Rim, stays for approximately three hours, and returns to Williams in the afternoon. This end of the canyon is also where you can see the mules that take people down into the Grand Canyon. Does anybody remember the Brady Bunch episode where the whole family went down into the Grand Canyon? Probably, uh, probably a relative. So, Troy, we have an hour left. What are your thoughts? I mean, I could go all day. I'm sure you can with a battery-assisted bike. This was a nice, easy trail that allowed the e-bike to pick up some speed. Troy, though, not so much. Well, 
Well, our day is about done. It is 2.30. We have to have the bikes back by 3. And um, while Troy and I truly enjoyed ourselves, somebody was not as happy. After uh, about, I think, three and a half hours, he decided he had had enough. So we came back here to the marketplace and he and I are staying here while Troy takes the one bike and stroller back. Then Troy's bringing the truck back and um, I'm gonna take the e-bike back. But it was truly amazing. Um, sometimes though, you just have to adapt to the little guys. Um, he was not the first dog that was unhappy inside that stroller. You could certainly tell, but um, would not have traded this experience for anything. So how do we know other dogs are unhappy? Well, as you can see here, the side of the carrier is really no more plastic, it's just packing tape. So our first recommendation is going to be, if you're bringing a canine, just go ahead and bring some packing tape just in case. We ended up having to buy some there in the Grand Canyon and, um, you know, fix some of the holes that Desi had put into the other tape. Yeah, we definitely had to affect a field repair. Uh, number two, bring a dog bed. In our case, we brought a dog blanket thinking that would be enough, but it really wasn't. He slid around way too much, and I just think it could have made his day better. Yeah. So, now, would we do Bright Angel again? I'd say definitely. We went about eight miles uh, back in, around the park. It took about 30 to 45 minutes to go through the orientation and get through the rental process. And we kept it about five hours and it cost us only $120. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, now um, there are more areas and trails that you could bike beyond what we did. So if you have your own, highly recommend um, going ahead and bringing them. Um, but the next question we would have would be, how easy was it to learn the e-bike? Now, as Troy mentioned, they do a orientation where you can kind of get used to the e-bike and they have a sidewalk area that you can practice on. Now, I had not been on a bike, I think close to a decade, but after the first 10 minutes or so, it's really just like riding a bike. Yeah, when we were there in November, uh, it wasn't the busy season, so we had the trails pretty much to ourselves. I'd imagine, though, in the summer or high season, it might be a little bit more challenging to get on some of these trails. Yeah, um, I would not want it to, you know, kind of have to weave around people, but... Um, Especially that close to the cliff. <laughs> true. Um, but all in all, it really wasn't difficult to get used to the e-bike. So we were in the Grand Canyon for about a week dry camping at Mather Campground, and if you do have the opportunity to stay in the park, we would highly recommend it. Yeah, and our days were spent going down wonderful dog-friendly trails, and in, every night was a beautiful Arizona sunset, and not to mention abundant wildlife everywhere you look. So if you want to see more videos of our upcoming travels and the trips and the continuing videos of the Grand Canyon, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And remember, Desi always wants you to hit that notification bell.